next program, you're going to be really getting into using return functions and passing parameters and arguments. So we're going to be doing a program that's like a math tutor. I'm going to show you what the final result will look like. So first, um, it can ask you how many problems do you want to do. So let's just say we want to do five math problems. So it's showing you actually what the problem is right here in the prompt, three times five. And I've got zero divided by four. And you can notice over here it's telling you if you're correct or wrong. So let's get one wrong on purpose just so we can see. So let's say that it's 15. It's going to tell me incorrect and what the correct answer was. It's going to give me the results. I did my five problems. I got four right, 80%. Do I want to play again? Well, let's just play again. My counter should start over. How many problems? Let's do another five. So I've got two divided by one. I've got three times two, eight divided by eight. And I am using floats for my answer because here's a division problem and the answer is going to be some kind of a decimal. Now, am I going to match it exactly? Probably not. So I'm just going to put in some numbers and I'm going to get it wrong and it's going to tell me what it is. And um, there I go. I'm not going to play again, but your results would be something like this. So we're just going to tackle it a little bit by a little bit and just try a few functions first and then we'll do incremental development so we'll get one or two functions to go and then we're going to expand and expand and expand until you get to something kind of like this.